Hi guys, today's video I thought I'd bring you along for the ride to show you what I'm doing or how I do it. I got to cut up loads of scrap today uh, for a bit of a scrap run, the scrap yard. So I usually chuck big chunks on like this would go on as it was on the trailer, but I haven't got no tow hitch on my van at the moment. I've got two trailers, but no tow hitch or no jeep, so I'm waiting for it to get a jeep on the road. I start using my trailers again then. But I got a load of scrap in you. Yeah, so I'll cut into manageable sizes so I can handle them like in and out of the van. So, got loads of scrap in here, you'd be surprised. Lots of axles, caravan axles in there. There's got to be you know, six, eight axles, spec lying about. Four axles there on two uh, trailers. One I started making myself, but I'm going to just cut it up now. I grew up with a I'm going to drag all that out. There's just lots of scrap in here. So I'm going to cut all this bramble away as well. That's where I'll start parking my own stuff because it's a bit of an hard stand here. So I'm going to cut it and kill all this eventually then. Spray it. I just thought I'd show you how I do it. I cut it up with oxy and propane and with my petrol disc cutter. So um, I think some, some of you might find it interesting. This will be my third load. I've done a load of alley, I took two caravans, smashed them up, I took two caravans, um, and a load of light steel. But I've got a big clean up around here, so it's all happening. Here's my weapons of choice for a minute. Disc cutter, the old Esquana, K760, and the Esquana there with the mulching blade. So I've got to cut the bramble as I'm going as well to find it all. And I use the my oxy pulp in there. I take it off the front of the tractor and just put it by there. So I can pull bits out of the tractor then. come to have a look what's happening. As I'm going through here, some bits I'll keep. You never chuck away a, a three-point link A-frame. Make something up with that. It's a nice bit of tube and stuff on there. So keep that bit. I was going to keep that, but I'm not. I can go. I'll just take the spring off here. It's the same mower as over there. Just doing a load of heavy, so you've got to watch it. Don't mix it with, with smaller stuff, lighter stuff. So it'll just be heavy stuff, cast and all that, heavy chunks. Cut the centre of that axle. All the axles, all the drums, all that stuff. Keeping that stuff by there. Anything that's weldable for the future. 
you can see a use saw as a keep. I've already had two in years in my life at the age of 44, so I'm going to watch what I'm doing. Gotta be careful, I just push that and clean into the side of the I thought it was sliding through the centre. Oh do I want to load it up over the back of the wheels? Not too far forward. Because it'd be harder for us to get out then. If I have to, I'll put straps on in, just drag it out in the scrapyard. I'll drag some more stuff out from there now. A few days work here, I'm just showing you a bit of a glimpse at uh, what I'm going to do. I've got a few of these old drums, different mowers, there's two mowers, like, there's more bits in there. Another drum by there. Axle. Oh, there's loads in there. I'll uh, cut a bit of this now with the brush cutter, I've got to watch what I hit. Wire fence in there. Might work with it on that side. I tell you what, I'd be lost without this little tractor. It's so handy with our front loader. I cut the axles. I don't like wasting this tube. I do a lot of welding on the farm. And look how thick the wall is on our. I can't have it all because it's full of rubber, so I try to cut twice looking for it, but it won't come off. So it'll come in there then. I put the jet cut head on the strimmer now and smash them in this time. I can't use a normal one, the mulch one, there's too much steel in there. If I hit that, it's a disaster.
stuff out yeah i can come in here with the tractor then the edge cutter is already on there and clear it tidy just want to make sure there's nothing in there there's a few days work it is to do all this So I don't know what the picture's going to be like, but uh, I don't know what I'm now. Let's say I've got to rip all this out, yeah, look. Got lots in it, be surprised what's in there. But um, that's enough for a minute. Well, there we are. I'll leave it there. Plenty more to follow. Check out my channel for weekly uploads. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.